today's talking up uh, the opportunity uh, that uh, the whole of Kent has. Kent uh, needs to rediscover itself as the uh, 21st century garden of England. They're really talking up Kent's potential to encourage inward investment and bring prosperity into Kent. Kent is, is increasingly becoming the county that is the front door to Europe. How we can start now to develop Kent over the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Change does happen if you plan for it. Great and the Good of Kent are at St Pancras International Station for the launch of a blueprint for the future development of Kent. World-renowned architect Sir Terry Farrell presents the findings of his work, undertaken on behalf of Kent County Council, on the key infrastructure improvements which will help to regenerate the county in the years to come. Well today we're launching what we call the Kent Vision. What it does is it brings together all the forward thinking in the, uh, in the minds of all the leaders and all, all the communities uh, of Kent. And we're going on a train journey through Kent that emphasises Kent's newest and biggest piece of infrastructure, the high speed line. We're going obviously from St Pancras, which is this glorious station that uh, is really one of the great stations of the world. Uh, and, and that's self-evident, that's London, that's where you arrive. The two international stations, Ebbsfleet and Ashford, are visiting because they are simply that, international stations, but they also uh, have uh, tremendous regeneration uh, potential for the areas around, for North Kent and for Mid Kent. And then we're going to Folkestone, uh, because Folkestone is one of many coastal towns and coastal regeneration, the regeneration of the, all that wonderful coastline of Kent is a key plank of the vision. So Folkestone's there to represent all those towns. Sir Terry Farrell's document complements one by Paul Carter, leader of Kent County Council, called Unlocking Kent's Potential, launched six months ago. Well, we've got to start planning now, and we're beginning to set out our stall on the big strategic issues that we need to grapple with, with solutions on housing, with changing demography, a growing elderly population, the transport infrastructure that's needed to support the growth, uh, skilling up our young people uh, for a 21st century economy in Kent. Some of the big ticket items that we've got to start planning for now, some with a very long fuse uh, in the, their evolution and their delivery, others that can virtually start next week, next month, this year. Five key infrastructure developments are identified as central to Kent's regeneration. One is a new Thames crossing. The extraordinary increase in traffic volumes daily uh, going over the existing Dartford crossing and the impossibility of actually putting that all through uh, the existing crossing. And our proposition, uh, supported by uh, our consultants, is that we should have a new crossing uh, to the east of Gravesend and Tilbury, which has the opportunity to connect Dover Docks to that third Thames crossing uh, and up to the uh, Midlands connecting with the M11 without going anywhere near the M25, the M1 or the M40. Now that's massively exciting. I believe it's a proposition that's affordable and doable uh, with very little recourse on public funds that is virtually self-funding. Other projects include improving rail connectivity by extending the High Speed One network as far as Thanet, especially to Manston which could then be expanded as a regional hub airport. High-speed links could also be made to Gatwick Airport and extended north to Heathrow and Luton. Improvements to Dover Port are also on the cards. With the UK's only high-speed rail line and its geographical location, Kent is now in a prime position to really benefit economically. The most critical thing is the southeast of England is one of, uh, the, uh, of globally one of the super regions uh, of the world. It's the largest super region in Europe and Kent is the best connected county within that super region. But it underperforms at the moment. But that means it's got the most potential to grow. Putting investment in Kent means putting investment in your super region and to, uh, to, to, to advance its economy, advances and builds up the best, uh, uh, the best economy, the best regional economy in Europe. And what did the delegates think? Leadership is all about leadership, political leadership. I think that's, um, that's been uh, the message for me, the overwhelming message. I work with a lot of local authorities and it's real positive to see. 
they could have just let the railway line run through the middle of the county and seen it as a, a bit of an obstruction. But in fact, what they're doing is turning into something positive for people who live in Kent. I think it's really inspiring. I mean, we've all known that Kent has got a lot to offer. Um, and I think to have the future of Kent mapped out like that, um, I think it's fantastic and inspiring for all of us. I think it's very exciting. I, th I, think it, uh, I think it's a clear vision. I think that uh, Kent does have a unique opportunity within the South East. I thought it was very well set out. And I think it's all started as a result of the high-speed line and the infrastructure that will flow from that. So very positive.